preparation for the event, trying to get boards ready, figure out what board to ride and uh, what fins to ride. And so I was trying fins a bunch and figuring that out. I had like a parking pass down there, so I was allowed to park for free down there. So uh, I was just going down a couple times a day. The boys were actually really fun. The swell before the contest started was good. Right away, I started surfing down there like twice, three times a day, and kind of getting ready. And yeah, I was just really excited. Everyone in town was getting a bunch of props, and everyone was saying congrats and you know, smoking and all, uh, all the shit. Everyone was getting happy. Yeah, the first heat, I was up against Mick, Fanning, and Kolohe, and uh, it was really foggy, and there were, there was waves, there was really fun waves, and uh, yeah, I caught a couple really good lefts, I fell on both of them, and I was kind of bummed on that, because they were really good waves, me and Kolohe got bumped down in the second round, I was kind of hoping at least one of us would have won that heat. And then the second heat, I had Joel in my heat. It was kind of slow in between the sets, and uh, the water was really blue, and the crystals, like, water was reflecting the light, and it was really pretty. And uh, I waited for the two set waves that came in, and I definitely think I caught the two best waves of the heat. But after that wave, it was pretty slow. The rest of the heat, and Joel had a couple of eights, and I needed a, like a nine or something. Yeah, it was just over. <laughs> it wasn't hard to lose, though, because I had the current world champion in one heat and the past world champ in another heat. Yeah, I just wanted to put on a better performance for everyone that came down to watch me. My short-lived WCT experience. Fucking cut. <laughs>